Hello and welcome. Today we will crochet this scarf with an easy cable pattern. It is a two row repeat. It also has a pocket and a hoodie. This is a beginner friendly tutorial. You can see the images. We can use any yarn and hook that we want to crochet the scarf. We will need two colors of yarn, about 300 grams or three skeins of the main color which we will use to make the scarf and we will need about 100 grams or one skein of the yarn to make the pockets and so on. We will also need a 4.5 millimeter or a size 7 crochet hook. We will need measuring tape, stitch markers, tapestry needle and scissors. Now let's begin. This is a schematic of your scarf. It will be about 9 to 10 inches broad and 55 to 60 inches long. You can decide however long or broad you want your scarf to be. We will begin by chaining the breadth of the scarf which is about 9 to 10 inches. Begin with a slip knot. You can make a slip knot however you want. Once we make the slip knot, we are now going to chain a multiple of 9 plus 8. Chain 9 first. So yarn over and pull through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Now you will begin from 1 again and chain 9 again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Keep chaining a multiple of 9 till you reach about 7 to 8 inches and to the end we will add 8 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Place your chain straight against the measuring tape to measure it. My chain measures about 10 inches. Your chain should be a multiple of 9 plus 8. This is the breadth of your scarf. Row 1. We will double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. The loop on the hook does not count as a chain. Skip the 1st chain, skip the 2nd chain, skip the 3rd chain. Into the 4th chain we will make a double crochet. So you can work into the top loop of the V or the back loop, whichever loop that you want. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the 4th chain. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. Once you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Make another double crochet in the next chain. Yarn over. Insert your hook into the chain. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. Once you have two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. You will continue making double crochet in all the chains till the end of this row and I will meet you there. Do not skip any chains. You can count your stitches at the end of row 1 by counting the V's that you see. The number of double crochet at the end of row 1 will be the number of chains that you made minus 2. This first chain 3 is going to count as a stitch. Chain 1. Yarn over and pull through. Now you will turn your work for row 2. In row 2, we will begin working in this first double crochet that we see. The loop on the hook does not count as a stitch. This is our chain 1 stitch. So we will begin working in this stitch that we see here. We are going to make single crochet in all the stitches beginning in this first double crochet. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both the loops. Let us make another single crochet in the next stitch. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the next stitch. Yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both the loops. We will continue making single crochet in the same way. Make a single crochet on all the double crochets and I will meet you once you finish this row. I have reached the end of row 2. I have one double crochet left and one chain 3 stitch. So. Single crochet on top of the double crochet. And now single crochet on top of the third chain of the chain 3. Insert your hook in the third chain. 
yarn over and pull through the loop. Yarn over and pull through both the loops to make a single crochet in the third chain. Chain 2. 1 and 2. Turn your work. This chain 2 counts as the first stitch of row 3. This is our first stitch of the row. We have already worked in it making a chain 2 which is a double crochet. Now we will work in the second stitch. Make a double crochet in the second stitch. Yarn over. Now we are going to work a front post triple crochet in the next two stitches. Let me show you. We will not work a front post triple crochet in the single crochet row. We will go one row below into this double crochet row and into this bar or the post we will work a front post triple crochet. We are going to work a front post double crochet in this third stitch. Yarn over once. Yarn over twice. Now insert your hook from the front below this third bar. So go between both the double crochet. Go below the bar and then come out on the other side with your crochet hook like I have. Then yarn over and pull through. Once you have 4 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2. Once you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2. Once you have 2 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the last 2 loops to make a front post triple crochet. Let us do it again in the next stitch. Yarn over once. Yarn over twice. Go below the bar from the front. So insert your hook like this. Go below the bar and come back to the front with your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through. Once you have 4 loops on your crochet hook, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. Once you have 3 loops, yarn over and pull through 2 loops. Once you have 2 loops, yarn over and pull through both the loops. In this next single crochet, we are going to make a normal double crochet. So turn your work to the back, skip one single crochet, skip two single crochet and in this single crochet we will work our double crochet. Skip two single crochet behind these two front post triple crochet and in the next single crochet make a double crochet. So yarn over. In the next single crochet, also make a double crochet. We have worked in these two stitches. We are going to skip this next stitch. And in this next stitch, we are going to work a front post triple crochet in the post below here. Yarn over twice. 1 and 2. We will skip this stitch and into the next stitch we will make a front post triple crochet. So go from the front below the bar and come out on the other side. Yarn over and pull through. Once you have 4 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2. Yarn over and pull through 2. Yarn over and pull through 2 again. Now in the next stitch as well you will make a front post triple crochet. Yarn over once. Yarn over twice. We are not going to be working in the single crochets but we will work into this post. So go from the front below the post and then come out on the other side with your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through. Once you have 4 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through 2. Yarn over and pull through 2. Yarn over and pull through 2. After these 2 stitches, we will go back to the skipped stitch and make a front post triple crochet in it. Yarn over once, yarn over twice. Go into the skip stitch from the front. Go below the bar and then come out on the other side. Yarn over and then pull through. Once you do that, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Now we will double crochet in the next two single crochet. So turn your work to the back, skip 1, 2 and 3 single crochet and in this next single crochet we are going to double crochet. After skipping 3 single crochet, make your double crochet in the next single crochet. Now make another double crochet in the next single crochet.
Beginning from this front post triple crochet, we will just repeat the pattern till the end of the row. I will do it once more with you. Now we have worked in these two stitches. We are going to work in the next two stitches. We will not work in the single crochet, but we will work into these bars. Yarn over once, yarn over twice. Go from the front below this bar. So go below the bar and come out on the other side. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Make another front post triple crochet in this next stitch. Yarn over once, yarn over twice. Go from the front below this bar and then come out on the other side. Yarn over and pull through. Skip the single crochet behind these front post triple crochet and in the next two stitches we will make double crochet. So turn your work to the back, skip one single crochet, skip two single crochet and make one double crochet in this stitch and one double crochet in this stitch. Make two double crochet in the single crochet. One double crochet and then two double crochet. We have worked in these two stitches, so we are going to skip one stitch and in the next two stitches in the bars we will make two front post triple crochet. Then we will come back to the skip stitch and work into it. Yarn over twice. Skip the next stitch, so we will skip this and into the next stitch. From the front go below the bar and start making your front post triple crochet. In the next stitch also we will make a front post triple crochet. So we have worked in this stitch into the next stitch. Go below the bar. Once we finish we are going to go back into the skip stitch and also make a front post triple crochet in it. So yarn over twice. Go below the skip stitch. Make your last front post triple crochet. After this, we are going to make double crochet. We have made three front post triple crochet. Turn your work to the back. We will skip one single crochet, two single crochet and three single crochet. And in this next single crochet, make a double crochet. And in the next single crochet, we will again make a double crochet. So let's make one double crochet. And two double crochet. We will just repeat this pattern. Make two front post triple crochet. Then we will make two double crochet. Skip one stitch. Two front post triple crochet. Go back to the skip stitch and make a front post triple crochet. Then you will make two double crochet. Repeat till the end of the row and I will meet you there. At the end of the row, after the last repeat, I have four stitches left. I will make two front post triple crochet and then two double crochet in the last two stitches. Let us make a front post triple crochet. Make a front post triple crochet again. Now I have reached the second last stitch. We will make a double crochet but we will work into the single crochet. Skip the two single crochet behind the two front post triple crochet that we have made and in the next single crochet make a double crochet. We have reached the last single crochet of the row. Make a double crochet in it. Now count your stitches by counting the V's that you see. They will be the same as row 1 and 2. At the end of every row, your stitch count will always remain the same. From now on, we will repeat row 2 and 3 for pattern. Row 4 will be the same as row 2. So chain 1 and turn your work. Now make a single crochet in this first double crochet. The loop on the hook does not count as a stitch. This is our chain stitch. Begin making single crochet in this first double crochet. So go below both the loops of 3. Make a single crochet. Make a single crochet in all the stitches of the previous row. Work in all the stitches and I will meet you at the end of this row. 
At the end of the row, I have a double crochet and a chain 2 left. So make a single crochet on top of the double crochet. The chain 2 counts as a stitch. So on top of the second chain, make a single crochet. The stitch count will remain the same. Chain 2 and turn your work. In row 5, we will repeat row 3. This chain 2 counts as a first stitch. Now in the second stitch, we will make a double crochet. So we have worked in the first stitch. In the second stitch, insert your hook in the single crochet and make a double crochet. It is very easy now because we can see exactly where to make our front post triple crochet and then our double crochet. Now, in the next two stitches, we are going to make front post triple crochet yarn over once, yarn over twice. Go below the post. Again, yarn over twice. Go below the next post. You have made two front post triple crochet. Now, Make two double crochet on top of these two double crochet in the single crochet. So in this single crochet make one double crochet. In the next single crochet make another double crochet. We are now going to skip this next stitch and into the next stitch we will make a front post triple crochet. If you can't see clearly just spread the stitches out with your hands like I have. Yarn over twice. So skip this stitch, into this next stitch we will make our front post triple crochet. So go below the bar, into the next stitch again make a front post triple crochet. Now go back to the skip stitch and make a front post triple crochet. Yarn over twice and go back to the skip stitch. So go below it. On top of the double crochet, in the single crochet you will make double crochet. So make one double crochet and then two double crochet. Now you will just repeat this pattern till the end of the row. Make 2 front post triple crochet then make 2 double crochet. Skip 1 stitch. Make 2 front post triple crochet. Go back to the skip stitch. Make a front post triple crochet. Then make a double crochet in the next 2 stitches. Repeat this till the end of the row and I will meet you there. I have reached the last 4 stitches. So make 2 front post triple crochets. 1 2 and end with 2 double crochets 1 2 Continue repeating both the rows till you have about 60 inches or however long you want your scarf to be and I will meet you there. Once you finish 60 inches, leave about 5 to 6 inches of the yarn and then cut it off. Now you will pull out a loop, just tug on your crochet hook. We will now begin the hoodie. So take the length of the scarf and divide it in half and add a stitch marker. Now from the half, you are going to measure 10.5 inches on one side and add a stitch marker. Then measure 10.5 inches on the other side and add a stitch marker. 10.5 plus 10.5 is 21 inches. Our hoodie will be 21 inches long. This is the center of my scarf. From the center, I have measured about 10.5 inches and added a stitch marker on either side. So from the center, add a stitch marker here and then add a stitch marker here. So from the stitch marker, I will attach a yarn and then begin crocheting my hoodie. So this is where I will attach the yarn, then crochet to this stitch marker, then crochet back to this stitch marker and so on till I have my required height. We are going to attach the yarn at this stitch marker. This is the right side of my scarf. So insert your hook where the stitch marker is. Then catch the new yarn in a loop form on your crochet hook like this. Now pull it through. Now you are going to chain 2. Chain 1 and then chain 2. 
Once you do that, you will go back to the same stitch and make a double crochet. So yarn over, go back to the same stitch and make a double crochet. We are now going to make double crochet as evenly as possible till the next stitch marker. So yarn over, insert your hook in the next space that you see and make a double crochet. as evenly as possible keep making double crochet double crochet over this end so that you don't have to weave it in i have reached the next stitch marker now i will chain two one and two now turn your work this chain two now counts as a first double crochet now make a double crochet in the next double crochet you will make a double crochet in all the double crochets of the row and i will meet you at the end of the row End row 2 by a double crochet on top of the first double crochet. In row 1, the chain 2 does not count as a stitch but from row 2, the chain 2 will count as a stitch. Now just repeat row 2 for pattern. So chain 2, then turn your work. Now double crochet from the second stitch till the end of the row in all the stitches. At the end of row 3, I have double crochet in the second last double crochet and then double crochet in the second chain of the chain 2. We will now just keep repeating this row till we reach the height of the hoodie that we want. I have finished making the hoodie. It is about 12 inches in height. You can make it as tall as you want. Now you will leave about 15 inches of the yarn and then cut it. We will use the yarn to sew the top of the hoodie. Pull out a loop by tugging on your crochet hook. Fold the hood and the scarf in half. The wrong side faces up. We will now sew across the top of the hoodie so that the seam is on the wrong side and when we turn it to the right side, the seam will get hidden. Make sure that this is the wrong side of your hoodie. Now with this leftover yarn and a tapestry needle, we will sew across the top of the hood. Place the edges exactly against one another. I am going to use the whip stitch. You can use any stitch you want. So we will go with the needle in the first edge and then the second edge. Now tuck on the needle. Again go to the first edge and then into the second. Tuck on the needle. Make sure these loops lie on the top. Go in the first edge and then the second. Continue till your, the end and I will meet you there. Once you finish sewing till the end, you will weave the yarn in. So with your tapestry needle, you will go 3 to 4 times in the opposite direction. Once you are sure the yarn is firmly eaten, just take a scissor and then cut the yarn off. Turn the hoodie inside out so that the right side faces up. On the right side of our scarf and hoodie, we are now going to make a border. Attach the yarn at this end. We will start working in this direction, then make a border for the hoodie, then go in this direction. And then come back to where we started. Attach the new yarn in the last stitch in the same way that we did for the hoodie. So insert your hook into the last stitch that you see. Catch the new yarn in a loop form on your crochet hook. Now pull it through. Now you are going to chain 1. Go back to the same stitch and single crochet. So insert your hook back into the same stitch and make a single crochet. Now we are just going to make single crochet as evenly as possible across the entire border. This is where we began the hoodie. So where the scarf meets the hoodie, we are going to decrease. So we will single crochet two together. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. Now. Go into the next space that you see, yarn over and pull through. Once you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. We have single crochet 2 together. Now continue making 1 single crochet like you did till you reach the other end where the hoodie meets the scarf. I have reached where the end of the hoodie meets the scarf. We will now single crochet 2 together again here. Insert your hook in the first stitch, yarn over and pull through. Now go into the second stitch. 
yarn over and pull through. Once you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. Now continue making single crochet as you did before and I will meet you at the corner of the scarf. We began working the border here. We have worked over the hoodie and now we have reached this corner. We are going to make 3 single crochet in one stitch which is an increased stitch. We will do the same for the other 3 corners. I will show you how. This is my corner stitch. Make 1 single crochet. Then go back to the same stitch. Make another single crochet. Now go back to the same stitch and make one more single crochet so that you have three stitches in one stitch. I have turned my work. Now I will continue making one single crochet in each stitch till the next corner where I will make three single crochet in one stitch just like this corner. I have reached the end of the first row of the border. This is where I had joined the yarn and made my first single crochet. So in the same stitch we are going to make two more single crochet so that we have three in all at the corner. So insert your hook in the same stitch, make one single crochet and make two single crochet. Now you will join by a slip stitch to this first single crochet of the row. So insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the first single crochet, yarn over and pull through and then pull through the loop on your hook. To begin row 2 of the border you will chain 1, now single crochet in the same stitch. Now just make single crochet in all the single crochet of the previous row. Make a decrease where you made a decrease and make an increase where you made an increase. I have made an increase at this corner. Now in this border I will leave gaps to attach the fringe. After the corner stitch we are going to chain 1. Skip the next single crochet and in the next single crochet make a single crochet. Chain 1. Skip the next single crochet and in the next single crochet you will make a single crochet. Chain 1. Skip the next single crochet and in the next single crochet make a single crochet. We will use these gaps to attach the fringe. Do the same on the other side where you want to attach the fringe. I have made 2 rows of single crochet as the border you can make as many rows as you want. I have finished row 2 in the same way as row 1. Make 2 single crochet in the same stitch as the first single crochet. Then join by a slip stitch to the first single crochet. Cut the yarn and pull out a loop. You will weave in all the remaining ends. I am using the same yarn for the pocket and the fringes which is different from the scarf. Now take your measuring tape, measure about 11 inches and cut the yarn. Now we will use the first piece of yarn to measure the second piece. Take a scissor and then cut it. Keep cutting the yarns in the same way. We are going to attach the fringe on the right side in the last row in the chain 1 spaces of the border. Take 3 strands of the 11 inch yarn. We are going to fold it in half. Now we will use this loop to make the fringe. Take your crochet hook and from the back or the wrong side you will insert it in the first chain 1 space and come to the right side. Now catch the 3 yarns in a loop form on your crochet hook. Now you will carefully pull it through. Once you do that, pull out a long loop. Now yarn over with all the 3 yarns carefully and pull them through the loop. Tuck to tighten. Fold 3 strands of the 11 inch yarn in half. Insert your hook from the wrong side to the right side. Catch the 3 loops on your crochet hook. Pull it through. Pull a long loop out, yarn over and then pull through. Tuck to tight. Make the remaining fringe in the same way. Once you finish attaching all the fringes, you will just straighten them with your hands as much as possible. Then take a scissor and trim it so that all the edges are even. After adding the fringe, I have decided I want to make the third row of the border in the same color as the fringe. So I am just going to attach the yarn. Insert your hook where you want to attach the yarn. Catch the yarn in a loop form and pull it through. Now chain 1. Single crochet in the same stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. This is my corner stitch so I am going to single crochet 3 times in all in the same stitch. Now I will continue making 1 single crochet in all the stitches till the end of the row. I have reached the end of the side. I have reached my corner stitch. I will single crochet 3 times in it. After I do that I will single crochet in the next stitch. 
and then I will join by a slip stitch to the next stitch. On the right side of the scarf, in the same way that we worked the border on the first side, we will work the border on the second side as well. Let us now make the pocket. You will begin with a slip knot and then chain however big you want your pocket to be. This is the bottom of your pocket. I have chained about 8.5 inches. In row 1, we are going to double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. So make a double crochet in the 4th chain from the hook. And then make a double crochet in all the remaining chains till the end of the row. And I will meet you there. After you finish row 1, you will begin row 2. Chain 2. This is your first double crochet. Turn your work. Now begin working in the second double crochet. Make a double crochet in all the stitches till the end of the row. You will now just repeat row 2 for pattern for the rest of the pocket. Remember that the chain 2 counts as a stitch and the stitch count in every row will remain the same. Once you finish the entire height of the pocket, you can make a single crochet border. So begin here, continue single crocheting downwards. Once you reach this corner, you will increase, then move across. Once you reach this corner, you will increase. Move upwards, increase at this corner. Come to the start, end by a slip stitch. Now leave 20 to 25 inches of the yarn and then cut it and then pull out a loop. Once you finish making the pocket, place the pocket on the scarf where you want to attach it. Use the stitch markers and mark exactly where you want to attach the pocket. We will use the leftover yarn. To sew the pocket on the right side of our scarf, we will begin at this end, then we will move downwards, then we will move across and then we will move back upwards. I am going to start sewing here and follow this line of double crochet. Take the tapestry needle, you will go in the pocket and then the scarf and then come out. Now tug on the needle. You are going to do the same again. Go in both the pocket and the scarf and then come out. Go in both the pocket and the scarf and then come out. Tuck on the needle. Just in the same way, sew on all three sides leaving the top open. If you have enjoyed today's tutorial, please like it and share it with your friends. Comment below with any suggestions or queries. Subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon for more. Thank you and see you next time.